having that ability for open communication. And as leaders, we can empower and enable this. Um, I often encourage my team to go off and do what um, I like to call players only calls, you know, meet without me. Um, spend time gelling, uh, talking about the things that matter. And then, uh, you know, even finding somebody who can kind of be a spokesperson for the group and come give me uh, the readout, what's working, what's not. Um, in fact, I learned in uh, on a previous team that I led that I was communicating with them more than they wanted. Um, so I adjusted appropriately, starting to send more of a digest um, as opposed to just sending uh, notes throughout the day of things that were top of mind. So uh, understanding what that communication could and should look like. Connected teams have trust and they have accountability. And to develop trust, um, as it is the cornerstone of a successful team, takes time to do that. And, and as you all know, it can be unraveled uh, relatively quickly. Um, you know, there's a lot of times that uh, will come up that will, will will challenge that trust. I know when I think of trusted colleagues, I think of people that almost have that that cone of silence ability. Um, 